Welcome to another thought-provoking journey of knowledge and insight. In today's YouTube video, we're diving into the captivating world of the winner effect by Ian H. Robertson. This remarkable book takes us on a deep exploration of the effects of power on the human brain and behavior. Join us as we uncover the book's profound content, its fascinating revelations, and the critical nuances it brings to light. Whether you've read the book or are simply curious about its key takeaways, this video is your gateway to a richer understanding of power dynamics and their impact on society. So, without further ado, let's embark on this intellectual adventure together. The content is nothing short of exceptional, earning a solid 10 rating. It provides profound insights into the underlying motivations driving human behavior within society. Have you ever heard the analogy of mapping lifespan to London subway stations? This book elucidates why that comparison holds weight. It also delves into the reasons behind workplace dissatisfaction the universally loathed phenomenon of micromanagement and the factors contributing to some individuals adopting tyrannical tendencies while others do not. Chapter 1. Unraveling the Enigma of Picasso's Son In the realm of artistic genius, Pablo Picasso's name shines brightly. However, a contrasting narrative unfolds when we turn our gaze to his son, Paulo Picasso, who, in stark contrast, seemed to bear the weight of being a loser in the shadow of his father's monumental success. Yet, this isn't an isolated case. Many offspring of accomplished parents often find themselves grappling with their own journeys to success, and, intriguingly, the reverse scenario is not uncommon either. Within this intriguing dynamic, to underlying reasons come to the fore. The paradox of parental success, successful parents, consumed by their own pursuits, sometimes fall short in dedicating ample time to nurture their children. Conversely, less successful parents, driven by the desire to compensate for their own setbacks, may invest a surplus of attention and support in their offspring. It's within this nurturing environment that the seeds of success are sown. The burden of out-achievement. Children born to accomplished parents can face an imposing challenge, surpassing their parents in their achievements. These parents often craft an idealized narrative of their own greatness, concealing the hurdles and hardships that marked their journey to success. Consequently, the child acutely aware of the gap between their abilities and their parents' achievements, may become demotivated, embracing a sense of nihilism that hinders their pursuit of excellence. True success is fueled by an innate drive, akin to our instinctual urges for sustenance and hydration. It's not merely a quest for extrinsic rewards like money, but a thirst for the intrinsic pleasure of accomplishment. This intrinsic motivation is what propels individuals to persist in their endeavors, regardless of financial wealth. Intriguingly, many billionaires continue their pursuits with unwavering determination, not for monetary gain, but for the sheer joy of achieving. Money, as a sole motivator, often falls short, and individuals who anticipate substantial inheritances may find themselves devoid of the intrinsic drive to strive and achieve. Take, for instance, Bill Gates, who chooses not to bestow excessive wealth upon his children, recognizing the value of nurturing their intrinsic motivation. On the journey towards monumental goals, it's crucial to acknowledge that success takes time and is far from guaranteed. Celebrating the smaller victories along the way is essential, for an exclusive focus on the grand objective can lead to disillusionment. Psychological insights have unveiled that the most driven individuals do not set unattainable goals, rather. 
They establish realistic milestones, conquer them, and then set their sights on new. Reachable objectives, this pattern of repetitive success serves as an enduring wellspring of motivation. No one is inherently born with an insatiable drive for success. It's a learned and nurtured trait. Parents and educators play a pivotal role in encouraging children to explore music, sports, or other pursuits even when the initial stages may be less gratifying. Crucially, it's vital to share children with praise for their efforts, not their innate intelligence. When intelligence is excessively praised, children may develop a belief that everything should come naturally to them because they are smart, this mindset can hinder their willingness to try new things and invest effort in their endeavors. Furthermore, overpraising intelligence can lead to a fear of failure. If they attempt something and do not excel, it threatens their perception of their own intelligence, potentially causing an identity crisis. So, how can we liberate them from this self-imposed pressure? The answer lies in truth-telling by candidly acknowledging that they may not be as inherently intelligent as they believe. We relieve them of the burden of being the super smart person, allowing them to embrace failure and the freedom to be their authentic selves. Chapter two, the changeling fish phenomenon. In East Africa, a fascinating fish story unfolds with two distinct male types, winners and losers, winners. Big and bright fiercely defend their territories against the drab, passive loser fish. But, sometimes, a loser fish undergoes a remarkable transformation. Why? When a predator targets the bright alpha fish, it opens up an opportunity for a bait a fish to inherit the territory. This territorial conquest triggers a surge of testosterone in the brain instantly elevating the beta fish to alpha status. The winner effect is at play. Where winning stimulates testosterone, reinforcing dominance and enhancing future victories. This effect extends beyond fish as even traders thrive with higher testosterone levels. But here's the twist. Football fans experience lower testosterone levels when their team loses. It's a self-perpetuating cycle of winning and losing. H.G. Landau, a psychologist, initially proposed this theory, and subsequent experiments confirmed its validity, including tests with fish. The context matters. For example, mice benefit from the winner effect on their home turf, not when fighting on unfamiliar terrain. Our environment plays a pivotal role in shaping our outcomes. Even heroin addicts who fought in Vietnam found that returning to America's different environment reduced addiction. Furthermore, colors like red can incite aggression in animals and impact outcomes. Sports teams in red jerseys tend to win more frequently, just as monkeys and birds with red coloring exhibit more aggressive behaviors. This chapter emphasizes how the environment and context significantly influence our behavior and outcomes, highlighting the intricate connection between our minds and surroundings. Chapter 3. The Secrets of Bill Clinton's Friend Keeping mum is an expression that signifies remaining silent, especially in the face of one's mistakes within large organizations. It's a social phenomenon that can help individuals evade repercussions for their errors. Two hierarchical structures exist, flat and steep. The higher one ascends, the more power and testosterone they accumulate, leading to a cycle of victories. However, power can also alter behavior in significant ways. Power can narrow your perspective, making it harder to see events from different angles. It can shift your focus from potential risks to objectives, sometimes blinding you to potential dangers. Power can foster a sense of control bond reality, unchecked. 
Power can become a danger due to unchecked egos, often leading to inevitable mistakes. This cycle of winning cannot persist indefinitely, as overconfidence eventually leads to errors and defeats. Losing has its own effects. Those who lose tend to be more attuned to potential threats and dangers, making them valuable for societal safety. The pursuit of power can be addictive, with the extent of one's craving influenced by genetics, the more ravenous the hunger for power, the bolder the actions, but also the greater the suffering when defeat occurs. In society, both winners and losers play vital roles. Winners drive progress, while losers help maintain safety and balance. Chapter 4. Unveiling the Oscars Enigma Oscar and Nobel laureates tend to enjoy longer lives. Compared to nominees, similarly, individuals laid to rest in taller tombs often have longer lifespans. High-ranking civil servants outlive their lower-ranking counterparts. The common thread in these phenomena is stress-induced by the fear of social exclusion influenced by two key factors social hierarchy, those at the apex of the social hierarchy, face lower risks of exclusion, resulting in reduced stress and longer lives. Oscar and Nobel winners, who achieve enduring recognition, find comfort in their permanent status within the hierarchy. Control, exercising control over one's life, or work reduces dependence on others, mitigating risk and stress, which, in turn, leads to longer life. Humans are acutely sensitive to their social status, often experiencing heightened self-awareness when encountering individuals of higher status. Alcohol can be a means of decreasing this self-awareness. The concept of control is crucial. Ownership, rather than renting, is a powerful driver for well-being. Sadly, few regain a sense of control after its deprivation leading to learned helplessness. This effect is also observed in animals. Furthermore, the perception of control significantly impacts an individual's psyche. Those who believe in their ability to control outcomes are more resilient and less likely to submit to torture while the opposite belief fosters vulnerability. One of the most potent stressors is not financial insecurity, but social evaluative threat, the fear of judgment based on one's identity. It is akin to the shame felt when encountering those of higher status or suffering a significant downgrade in status. The distress from rejection, rooted in our evolutionary need to remain part of a group, affects the length and quality of our lives. Chapter 5, Deciphering CEO Behavior Dopamine, a powerful hormone, propels us towards actions that trigger it. For instance, winning money in a casino releases a surge of dopamine, creating an urge to continue gambling. Conversely, when dopamine levels plummet, we feel compelled to halt our actions and seek activities that boost our mood. Not everyone responds to dopamine in the same way. Some individuals, possessing specific genes like DRD4, experience greater dopamine surges, leading to a propensity for risk-taking and impulsivity. Dopamine is not limited to monetary rewards. It's also linked to testosterone, winning boosts testosterone levels, which, in turn, generates more dopamine, creating an insatiable cycle. This dynamic is responsible for cravings associated with sex, money, power, and drugs potentially pushing individuals into addictive behaviors. This addiction can be seen in professions like trading, where high-risk activities are coupled with intense cravings for dopamine, however. The pursuit of excessive dopamine eventually impairs performance. Moreover, 
people vary in their desire for power, which correlates with higher sexual activity and a greater inclination to cheat. Acquiring power or wealth spurs individuals to take more risks, potentially explaining the exorbitant salaries of CEOs. An imbalance in dopamine, whether excessive or deficient, can lead to severe mental health issues, including schizophrenia and Parkinson's disease. Power has its own set of effects. It diminishes concern for others' opinions, fostering selfishness and a lack of empathy. Even brief exposure to power can make people more self-centered and less attuned to alternative viewpoints. Power inclines individuals to enforce rules on others, while simultaneously disregarding these rules themselves. Hypocrisy becomes more prevalent among those in power. While women desire power as much as men, men are more sensitive to power dynamics in their surroundings and more likely to remember social hierarchies. The distinct forms of power exist, personal P-power and collective S-power. P-power is driven by personal gain whereas S power is directed toward communal objectives, such as ending world hunger, women are more motivated by S power and less inclined toward personal gain. S power diminishes testosterone, reducing the dopamine-driven addiction to personal power. This contributes to the scarcity of female dictators. Excessive wealth often correlates with reduced generosity and altruism. Chapter 6, The Winning Mindset Repeated pressure can lead individuals to align their opinions with their actions, a phenomenon akin to Stockholm Syndrome. Similarly, when someone who initially dislikes you performs a kind act, their feelings can begin to change. Actions often shape opinions more than the other way around. Parents who exert excessive control over their children may inadvertently foster antisocial The stress of leadership can transform those who feel inadequate into bullies. The top position often comes with heightened scrutiny and attacks, which can lead to stress being vented on subordinates. What truly defines a winner? The desire to win is essentially a desire for personal survival. But individual existence is inherently intertwined with others. A genuine winner is someone who not only benefits personally from power, but also extends those benefits to others. Regrettably, such individuals are rare, underscoring the need for checks and balances to prevent those in power from wielding unchecked authority. In conclusion, we are the product of our personal, social, and professional environments, power has the capacity to transform us, as does the absence of it. Thank you for joining us on this insightful journey. We've delved into the mysteries of Picasso's son, the power of dopamine, and the complexities of power and success. In closing, remember that our actions, environments, and the quest for power shape our lives. We hope this video has sparked your curiosity and provided valuable insights. If you found it engaging, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more thought-provoking content. Your support is greatly appreciated. Stay curious, keep exploring, and see you in the next video.